Demolition started today on a Methodist church that's been serving Minneapolis since the 1880s. But its story isn't over. Sharon Yu shows us the next iteration of their mission. After sitting vacant for years, the Simpson United Methodist Church at 28th and 1st Avenue in Minneapolis is getting a new purpose, serving folks experiencing homelessness. It had been kind of empty. You know, not loved anymore. And an old building can be like an old friend. The whole back section is covered in a rubber roof. Glenn Davis maybe knew Simpson United Methodist Church better than the back of his hand, working on it since 1997. Three or four days a week we'd come out here and, uh, you know, uh, patch some of the rubber roof that's up there. Anybody wants to join? Praying over the house of prayer as it comes down to become something new. This is the uh, no turning back moment. Following this then, of course, we'll begin construction on um, what, we, um, what we hope is going to be a, a new national best practice shelter model. Simpson Housing Services, having inherited the church, will work with Project for Pride and Living. We're developing 42 units of permanent supportive housing, and Simpson is uh, rebuilding a shelter uh, with 70 beds. And so the building will have on-site services uh, and be staffed 24 hours a day. Continuing to be a place of hope in a new but not different way. It starts to touch our hearts a lot more as we feel the temperature starting to drop. Homelessness is a, pro a problem that's related to poverty, not, not climate. Um, so although we feel it more, uh, the problem is the exact, exactly the same in terms of numbers this time of year as it is in the middle of summer. This demolition is, of course, the first step in this extremely long process. They hope to have the complex open by summer of 2025. In Minneapolis, Sharon Yu, Carol 11 News.